Hello, I wanted to make this video on why you should purchase a HP ProBook 6360B in 2021. Even though this laptop is about 10 years old, it still will make a great mobile laptop or a small workstation even today. And what really makes this laptop, you know, great or why you should buy one, even though, you know, if you don't mind this laptop being you know this thick and it's pretty heavy this you know this thick is about 1.3 inch thick and weighs about um, five pounds actually with a six cell battery 4.7 but if you don't mind the thickness of this laptop or how heavy it is it's a great laptop to have and the reason to have this laptop is that it's is fully upgradable yes you could just about upgrade everything on this laptop including the processor so this is why i actually um purchased it because um it was you know one of those laptops that i always wanted to have and could never find one the exact model that i wanted because this laptop actually comes in about three different models and i was lucky enough to find this model here and the difference between actually i think it's two mo you know no it's actually three models but difference between this model and the other models as you can see um, this model has a track point so you actually get two sets of left or right click buttons on the bottom and two on the top and a track point and this is why I particularly wanted this model but this is a you know very rare model and it's really hard to find but uh, if you do find one that does have the track point it's worth getting and again you know it's the same model numbers the 63 60b and most of them don't have a track point so it's very rare that you find one that does but you know if you see one that does have it i would recommend getting it because you know it's uh if you like the track point and the reason why i like it is because um you know if you have if your hands are wet or messy and you don't want to mess up your trackpad or get any liquid on your trackpad you could just use the track point right here and the buttons and you don't have to worry about you know dealing with the trackpad or in case the track pad stops working on it breaks and it happened to me before on a laptop you can still use the track point even though if the track pad doesn't work or the drivers get messed up you can still use this you don't have to bring an external mouse with you to use it so that, that's another feature that i like about this but yeah the reason for getting this was because you could just simply upgrade this thing this thing everything on this thing is upgradable and change the parts with other models this is a pro book model and there's a elite book model and the pro books and elite books mostly share the same parts even i think even the same keyboard they share so you can switch keyboards but this is a 13 inch model the 14 inch model with the other 14 inch pro book you can switch keyboards you know screens same size and i believe even, even a base of this but right now i just want to explain why you should buy one of these um, in 2021 unlike most laptops today on the market you know they are not upgradable you can't upgrade the ram you know if you can that's about it uh, upgrade the ram and the memory but with this you know as i mentioned before you could upgrade the processor the ram you could replace the fan um what else you could replace the wi-fi cards you know there's even a modem card in here but you could replace the wi-fi cards just about everything on, on here that you could replace and not only that but it's you know really cheap and real easy to find the parts for this laptop but i'm gonna go real quick on the ports and another reason to buy this laptop is because of the ports i mean look at this this laptop for its size let's try to get this to focus right now i'm using a different camera so um i'm not used to using it. this is a new camera i got i got um parasonic you know gh series camera so i'm, I'm still working with the autofocus on this camera but uh, as you can see you just have a slew just a lot of ports on this machine and you cannot find laptops on the market today that has this many ports and as many um, devices on it and base to start with you know, have the separate headphone jack and microphone jack which most laptops today they are combo but this is great to having two separate jacks for the re like if you have a external microphone that you want to use that has a one eight one eight inch jack on it uh it will work perfectly with this laptop 
for example, if you have a microphone that you use on your camera or your DSLR, you can use it on here if you don't want to use a USB, one with a USB port. So if you have a you know really nice mic that has that one eight inch jack, it will fit. Then you have your Firewire port right here. And you know, today, you know, nobody really uses Firewire, but if you have a lot of old devices or mixers, or you know, uh, or even hard drives that use this type of um, interface, um, it's here. And also, then you have your, this is, yeah, this is your eSATA port right here. USB eSATA port, which means you can actually use this as a, USB port for your USB devices and it works you know it works with just about any USB device it's a combo port because it has your eSATA with it built in then you have a second USB port uh, this is 2.0 both of these are then you have a display port and not only do you have a display port but you have a VGA port again you know this is um, something that you can't find on laptops today you know uh, in the last few years or even the last five years you have a VGA port and a display you got two sources of video so basically you can use an external monitor or use two monitors but what's great about this is having like if you can actually buy a HDMI cable that has a display uh, connect on the end so you can use this and plug it up to your TV or if you don't want to use the, the display port, you can actually use the um, VGA port if you have a monitor. And what's great about having a VGA port, you know, on a laptop this size, um, there are TVs, you know, on the market today that they still make that has VGA ports in them. So you can actually plug this up to a TV that has a VGA port. And you could go that route. Then you have your, um, I think, 56K modem. And this is something that's like not really necessary to have, but it's on here. Nobody uses, you know, 56K modem. But if you happen to go somewhere that, that does have that, you can use it, you know, it's there. And this is the um, charging port. And then on the other side you have, um, this is the ethernet port. So again, you know, um, if you're someplace where there's no Wi-Fi, you have a built-in ethernet port, which again, there's a lot of laptops out there that don't have an Ethernet port, you know. And if they do, you have to use either a dongle or it has one of those compact ones that kind of pop out. But this, it's built right in. And of course, you have the Keniston lock. And then you have another USB port, actually two more. So you have a total of four USB ports, three regular USB ports, and one that's a, that is an eSATA combo port. Now, let's see if I can clear this up. Uh, the autofocus is not set on my camera, so I have to manually focus this. Clear focus. Trying to focus it. Yes, yeah, so I apologize for that. Uh, anyway, okay, there we go. You have a optical drive. Now, this is something that you don't see and laptops anymore and Pat the last five years they have really went away from this device but what makes this great is with when having this um, optical drive you have so many options again one of the options is if you don't like having an optical drive or you don't use it anymore you can actually remove this it, it you know it comes right out and you can actually add a second hard drive so if you don't use optical drive you can add a second hard drive for more storage space or a second high drive for two operating systems. You can put your main operating system on the main hard drive here, here, and um, put a second hard drive for another operating system and have dual operating systems, if you like. Then if that's not enough for you, you know, um, you could still, you could add a Blu-ray player. There's actually, um, a drive that I have that I actually purchased for this, which is a Blu-ray player that you could burn Blu-ray discs or watch them. Again, if that is not an option for you, if you want more options, you actually have a built-in Express Card slot adapter. And what this is good for, this allows you to add modules or devices 
um, to this laptop or even an upgrade to this laptop. So what I mean by that is um, here, you can actually, they actually make um, a lot of adapter cards that fit into this express slot. For example, I think they they make an SD card. So if you want to have more than one SD card reader, you can actually um, buy SD card, express card SD card reader that fits right into this flush and you can have two SD slots, or two SD card readers. You can use one for storage and the other one for your uh, for your photos that you take with your camera. Because this does have a built-in SD card reader. In the and what I like about this is that it's in the front, as you can see. It's right here. Set it back some so you can see it because the camera is in focus. So right here, this is your SD card reader. And if you want to have two, and there's no laptop, I think, on the market today that has two SD card readers. You know, you have one or you have none at all, or you have a micro one. But this is a full-size SD card reader. Then you could buy an adapter that fits in here for SD card. And then if you don't want to use an SD card reader, you can actually um, buy a HDMI express card adapter that fits in here. Again, it fits in here flush, and you could actually record video from any HDMI source if it's a TV DVD player etc so again you know that, that's a great feature and that um, HDMI Express card is going to cost you a lot it's going to set you back $150 but again you know this is one of the few laptops where you could do have all these features and do all these things so again if you don't use the Express card slot I mean there's so much stuff that you can add to it you can even buy um, graphic drivers for it and sound cards that fit in here I actually seen one sound card by creative which allows you to um, add it has actually analog input so you could plug a DVD player up or a CD player or a stereo system up to it and you got your sound card you know so again you know a lot of laptops the laptops on the market today don't do not have these two devices do not have a um, a bay optical bay or express card slot those are removed you know in a laptop today so again you know this is the reason why i would purchase one of these you know in 2021 because you are getting so much of a laptop you know so, so many functions and so many ports and i want to mention one more feature before i go i wanted to do this quick but the video is about 13 minutes now but i also wanted to mention um another reason to buy this laptop compared to other laptops on the market is that um four and that's right four battery options so if you're someone who needs good battery life or you need long batteries or you need a laptop that has a a replaceable battery or a battery that you could change you know change uh I forgot what you call it but a battery that you could um just you know switch batteries a removable battery this is it because a lot of laptops now the thinner lights don't have removable batteries so that means when your battery runs down or it's dead your laptop is not functioning you know it's just an expensive paperweight but with this you get four battery options and that's unbelievable so that means you get to start with you get the standard battery pack the removable pack that comes with the laptop and this is actually a nine cell six cell is not going to stick out it's going to fit flush with the laptop but this actually this is a nice cell that i got for it so you get a six cell which is i believe um 61 watt hours and then you get a nine cell that is 100 watt hours so you are going to get some good battery life and again this is a 13 inch laptop so it's really perfect size for travel from being portable and with a six cell in this laptop and it depends on what process you have I forgot to mention that but um with an i3 or i5 processor you are going to get about with a six cell get about five hours of real battery life you know I haven't really used it myself because um, I, I use an iCore this one has an iCore 3 processor but um from the re reviews that I have seen, you know, you get um, five hours battery life. And then with the ninth cell, 
you get about uh, anywhere from nine to ten hours or maybe more you know if you dim the screen but you are getting you know with a six cell about five hours nine cell ten or nine hours and if that is not enough and this is why you know this is a great laptop to get if that is not enough you can actually add a battery slice and this is what I mentioned before this thing has four battery options and I just mentioned two and the other two or the last two is the battery slice you get two battery slices not one but two you get one that fits underneath here so one battery slice is actually six cells and the second one is nine cells so just imagine if you took a nine cell battery slice and put it on this laptop it fits underneath and I'm going to show you underneath this laptop here the battery attaches um, to this to this device right here this is where the battery slice attached to and it slightly raises it up something like this it raises it up which makes makes it great for typing but by adding a nine cell battery slice with a nine cell battery you are getting you will get 200 watt hours of battery life that's right you will have a 200 watt battery life or watt hours something that no laptop today has you know they don't even make laptops that are 200 watts because of the law um, this is like some type of law legal reason why when they ship these laptops the highest capacity that they can use or that they can build for a laptop the battery is 100 watt hours nothing higher if it's higher than that they can't even ship it by mail I get, I'm sorry by mail but they can't sh yeah they can't ship it by air air mail so the battery has to be 100 watts or less and this is why you see all laptops with really low capacities or batteries that don't go over 100 watt hours but with this you can add two batteries so you could simultaneously you could use two batteries at the same time with this laptop and get a total of anywhere from um, 14 hours to 17 hours or maybe even 20 hours you know you could definitely get about 20 hours of just standby time with two batteries so that, this is probably one of the biggest features on this laptop is the battery and again I just want to show this real quick um, I could spend all day talking about this laptop, but one thing that makes this a great laptop to upgrade is the simple reason there's one button where let's see if it comes off. You can actually just remove the bottom plate to upgrade it. Let's see if it comes off. Um, there we go. Really simple. There you go. See, this is the bottom place removable and then once you remove the bottom plate it's just one button you just i think it's uh, one of these is the battery the other one's the um bottom plate but once you remove the bottom plate as you can see there's all your electronics you have your fan you have the um, processor right here which is upgradable you just have to remove this real easy to get to real easy to upgrade and you actually have two ramp slots this is just one but the other ramp slot is underneath the keyboard here so this does have two RAM slots which means you could put two sticks of RAM and those two sticks of RAM would give you um, the maximum of 16 gigabytes of RAM and then you have your hard drive your wireless card now oh, this is your wireless card right here this is another wireless card I believe this is the modem card but this is your main you know Wi-Fi card right here so this could be upgrade and this is a hard drive and it's one screw here you remove the screw and you could pull out the hard drive and slide it back in so again you know this laptop is fully upgradable and I bought a processor for it you know but you have to remember when you buy this laptop let's see if I put it back on here there we go see it's that easy boom it's locked and when you purchase this laptop you have to remember that um this comes with three different types of processors I'm trying to you know finish it up real quick I'm running out of time but um you get an iCore iCore 3 this one has an iCore 3 you get a, either an iCore 3 iCore 5 or a Celeron processor and that's for a thin client they have a thin client version of this that has a Celeron processor so that's the one you don't really want to get you want to get the one that has an iCore 5 or iCore 3 
And what's great about this, you can actually upgrade it to an iCore 7. And this is one of the laptops that don't come with an iCore 7 processor, but you can upgrade it. The highest processor that you can upgrade with this is actually iCore 7 processor, which I have right here. And I just purchased this off for um, eBay. Yeah, this is an iCore processor 7 with dual cores, with two cores, and I believe four threads. But this is the fastest and uh, most powerful lap, um, processor that you can use on this laptop. This is as high as you could go is an i7 dual core. So that's not bad, especially for a 10 year old laptop. But, you know, it's really easy to upgrade. And again, you know, this is why I would buy this laptop because there's so many features that you could do and so many upgrades that you can have on this laptop. And again, you know, it's still a nice looking laptop as you can see. Yeah. It still looks modern, you know, it has the chiclet style keyboard, has a nice screen and SD card reader in the front. And again, you know, this is what I like about it. The card readers in the front looks really nice. And you look on the side, you have all these ports, you know, two video ports, VGA, display port, USB, two USB ports. And then on the other side, you get two more. And I also wanted to mention one more thing. With this Express card slot adapter, you can actually add more US UBS ports. So if you, someone that uses a lot of USB ports or you want to have a lot of them, you can actually buy an Express card adapter that would give you either two or three more USB ports. So you will have a total of seven USB ports in a single laptop. And, you know, there is no laptop on the market today that has, you know, I, I don't believe that has seven USB ports in a single laptop. I haven't seen one, but maybe maybe there is, but um, seven USB ports. So you can actually add that many to this one. Again, and this laptop is only 13 inches in size. This is not a full size laptop. This is a 13.3 inch laptop. So when you can add, you know, we can have a total of seven USB ports plus the optical drive or a second hard drive with a iCore 7 processor. So you have one, you know, pretty powerful small machine even by today's standard it may not be the fastest or the most powerful laptop but for its size and for the price it can be beat and you can find this laptop on ebay anywhere from um from 100 to 150 dollars with an iCore 3 processor or iCore 5 but if you want to upgrade it i would recommend spending an extra 50 dollars and buying this chip right here, this iCore 7 processor, which go to increase the performance and the boot up time and everything. And getting, you know, 16 gigs of RAM. Once you get the 16 gigs of RAM and the iCore 7 processor in this small laptop, you have a great laptop that performed very well. And you will have two batteries. You know, you not only can you add two hard drives, but you can add two batteries as well and seven USB ports in all one device. That is portable you take with you so that's about it i could you know go a lot longer about this laptop but yeah i'm going to upgrade it i just bought a process i also bought a new screen when i purchased this off of ebay the seller mentioned that the screen did not work so i will be upgrading the screen to make sure that you know hopefully it's the screen that's not working uh, i tried it with a dock and it works fine with a dock so Hopefully, you know, this, it's just the screen because I checked the screen and it doesn't look cracked or broken at all. But the seller said it was the screen did not work. So I'm going to I bought a new screen, so I'm going to upgrade the screen on it. And once I get that screen working and everything works, the screen works fine. Then I'm going to um, install the processor and the RAM. So that's about it. Again, you know, if you're looking for a nice mobile laptop to get that is fully upgradable, where you can just upgrade just about everything on it, this is the one to get. This is the HP ProBook 6360B. It's a small 13 inch. It's a bit heavy, but you get, you know, an incredible battery life. And you had options of using two batteries instead of one. Two 100 watt hour batteries would get you a maximum of 200 watt hours. So you have good battery life, long battery life, 
and just a lot of ports so i hope you like this video i hope you enjoy it and hopefully if everything goes right with upgrading the screen i'm going to make another video um, to show you the performance and the test of the laptop and to show you how you know if everything goes well so i hope you like this video and i will see you next time goodbye